finally getting a chance to use this thing. Super excited, kind of a cold night, so it'll be a good test. From what I've read, uh, you basically fill this hopper up, start with the torch from the back once you have it in here. So that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, let's see how it fires up. Just like the assembly, this is my first attempt. Okay, I went about 30 seconds with that torch. Also, I did have this cap on the chimney that needs to come off to allow draft to go through. So now I'm gonna let it warm up. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm very curious, so I'm gonna take a quick look. And uh, it's been five minutes since I lit these, exactly. And I'm gonna try and get a temp reading here. That stone is already at 118 degrees and it's 25 degrees outside right now. It's climbing too, look at that. Awesome, impressive. Okay, it's now been 10 minutes exactly. I can kind of smell the new burning off of this. Oh, those flames are awesome. And we are at, holy smokes, the top of that stone is almost 400 degrees already. Wow. All right, it's now been 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Oh man, raging. And that stone is at 612, 600-ish degrees. In the back, it's about, wow, 700 some. All right, we're just gonna let it go now for another 10 minutes and then I'm putting a pizza on. All right, based on what I've been seeing, I wanted to give this thing 25 minutes to heat up. It's been 25 minutes. I just added four scoops of pellets. Um, so it's ripping through pellets, but it's awfully cold out, uh, but that's a good thing. Let's check it out, just to make sure we're good. And boy, it's, it's just raging, it looks great. And our stone is at 752. And I mean, we're we're 900 plus degrees ambient in there, easy if that stone's that hot. All right. Okay, I use cornmeal and I use a wood peel. I know a lot of people like to use flour, and they use the uni metal peel. I personally like to use a wood peel to put pizza on, and then a metal peel to take it off. Works for me, uh, personal preference. White cornmeal is what I use, kind of looks like flour. It does a trick. All right, now the fun part. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna put on my cheese bread first. My cheese bread is uh, just my dough, which I use all King Arthur bread flour. And then I do have a sourdough culture, so it's a sourdough in there. I don't roll my dough out. I like to just do this, gently stretch it, so then hopefully I get some good bubbles. I don't know, it's the first time I've cooked on this. Cooked on a lot of wood-fired ovens, not the uni, until right now. You are witnessing the first pizza I have done off the uni. Pretty darn excited. This is how I stretch my dough. I don't like to manhandle it. I like it to just relax. Um, I'm going to top this with olive oil, garlic, salt, little Italian seasonings, and then some fresh mozzarella. A lot of people like it. My dough, if you're curious, is about 300 grams. It's kind of a larger size dough. I like to have a little more to work with. 
Um, we'll see how it cooks on this thing. So just a little olive oil. So. And then some garlic, or a lot of garlic. We like a lot of garlic in this house. I'm gonna put some cheese on here. Fresh mozzarella. And then I'm gonna to top it with salt. And we're gonna stick it on the uni and see what the heck happens. Italian seasonings. All right. There's my cheese bread. On the unit it goes. You can already smell it. Unbelievable. the metal peel I take it off with. Now I've seen and I've read that you should check it after about 20 seconds so I'm going to do that and boy it's looking good. Now I'm going to give it another 10-15 seconds. I've got a stopwatch here just for the first one. Okay so that's been about 30, 30 seconds. In. Another 30 seconds. Okay, it's been almost another 30 seconds. I'm going to check it. This pizza looks amazing. It's already done. One minute. Unreal. Look at that. I'm going to close my uni up because I have two more pizzas to go. Um, I've cooked on a lot of wood-fired ovens at home. I gotta say, this is pretty impressive. Got a good rise out of that dough. Uh, generally speaking, that looks pretty darn good. Gonna go try it. I'm definitely trying to be diligent with these pellets. I, I've read nightmares of letting it fall behind, so I'm just keeping this so it's oops, a little spill. So it's in a position to just keep cooking. I have two more pizzas. That should be about right. All right, now I'm gonna fire up my margarita. Lots of basil already in this sauce. Um, if you haven't done wood-fired pizzas before, you should know that less is more. You don't want a ton of extra toppings on a wood-fired pizza, you'll end up with uh, mushy, soggy, crust, could tear. Um, I even went a little heavy-handed, I think, with this, but my wife loves a good red sauce. This is homemade. My own recipe. And then some more fresh mozzarella. Some people slice this. Some people use the shredded stuff. Uh, myself, I like to crumble it. Get it a little more spread out on the pizza. Again, not too much. Um, too much cheese, it gets a little watery. If you're feeling adventurous and a little more daring, you can do a blend of part skim and whole. That works too. All right. And our... Started my timer. So that's been 25 seconds. I'm gonna spin it. Cooking 
some pizza, enjoy a nice IPA. That's been a minute and 15 seconds. Looks good, but I'm gonna give it just another second. This pizza was a little bigger than my last. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and browned. Leoparding, they call it. It's the black spots you get on the dough on the upper side and the underside. Boy, that looks good. We're gonna go with that right there. I'm just going to go another couple seconds on that side. Really impressed with this. There we go. That's got the color that I want. Look at that. Perfect. You can smell the sauce coming through and the cheese. Uni, it's a winner, man. All right, I gotta hand it to Uni. This is actually a really good cooker. Um, it was very fun to run. I'm just letting it cool down now. I'm gonna snap a couple pictures of how much ash is left. Uh, I went through, you saw that bowl of pellets that I had, about half that. I cooked three pizzas and had I just kept going, I could have cooked 50 pizzas. I mean, the thing just keeps running and running and running. Definitely once that hopper once the pellets fall below and you have just a basket left, it starts to smolder without flames and the pizza doesn't cook very well at that point. So, uh, gotta keep, I would say that hopper, you know, keep it to about this level with pellets, just enough to where you can put that scoop back in there. Runs great. Very, very impressed. Um, I'll be cooking on it often. Thanks, have a good one. Oh,